An infinite current sheet. Long straight conductors with square cross sections and each carrying current I are laid side by side to form an infinite current sheet. This is infinite. Okay. The conductors lie in the xy plane. So you can see that they are all on the xy plane. So they have a square cross section and current is coming out because this is a dot. Um, they are parallel to the y-axis. They are parallel to the y-axis. This is the y-axis. And carry current in the plus y direction. So they carry current in the plus y direction. There are n conductors per unit length measured along the x-axis. Number of conductors per unit length is n. Okay. Part A, what are the magnitude and direction of the magnetic field, a distance A below the current sheet, and in part B, above the current sheet. So it's asking me to find the magnetic field, a distance A, below the current sheet and above the current sheet. Okay, so uh, basically I'm going to consider an Amperian loop here a distance uh, so so that this is going to form a square with side length 2a so a below a above so basically i'm ignoring the dimensions of the conductors here uh, so that i have uh, this current is uh, this loop uh, amperian loop and now i have to find the direction of the magnetic field uh, so, first of all, I see that if I go uh, A above the current loop, using the right-hand rule, my thumb points out of the page, that's the current coming out of the page in plus Y direction, my four fingers curl uh, in the counterclockwise sense, so that means the magnetic field would be circulating like this. However, because I have two conductors side by side, uh, there's going to be a cancellation of the magnetic field. So this will create a magnetic field that curls like this. This will create a magnetic field that curls like this. So they will cancel out in the middle. The magnetic field to a good approximation will be zero for these two sides. Okay, so I consider an Amperian loop with side length 2a and I'm writing Ampere's law, closed path integral b that product with dl is going to be equal to, because this is a symmetric situation, I'm going to have the same magnitude of the magnetic field at distance a above and at, at, at a distance a below. So uh, b times 2a plus b times 2a, that's going to be 2b times 2a, 2b times 2a, uh, for these two sides, I've argued that the magnetic field should be zero, so that will be the closed path integral. This is equal to uh, mu zero permeability of free space times the current enclosed by this path. And what's the current enclosed? It's mu zero times number of conductors per unit length, each carrying a current I. And what is the length here? The length here is 2a, so number of conductors per unit length times 2a is the number of conductors, each carrying a current i, so mu0 and 2ai. So I find that 4ba must be equal to 2 mu0 and ai. All right, so this 2 will make this 4. 2, the A's will disappear, and I will find the magnetic field magnitude here to be, B must be equal to mu0 and I divided by 2. That's the magnitude of the magnetic field. Okay, now how about the answer to part A, the magnitude and direction of the magnetic field above and below? 
Well, the magnetic field, in part A, we were asked to find it below the current source. Uh, below the current source, this is basically pointing in uh, plus i hat direction because that's my x axis here. This is pointing in plus i hat direction. So I can say that this is mu zero and i mu zero and i over two pointing in plus i hat direction for part a and for part b it is the same magnitude mu zero and i over two but now pointing for above it's pointing in minus i hat direction pointing in minus i hat direction so that's the answer to part b now for, as for the argument the magnetic fields should be cancelling for the these two sides can be seen here the segments along the z-axis uh, for these two segments which are along the z-axis if you consider two conductors carrying this current I coming out of the page, this creates a magnetic field in this direction in the counterclockwise sense found using the right hand rule. The thumb points in the direction of the current, the four fingers curl in this direction counterclockwise. And for this conductor, it's also the same counterclockwise. But if you look at the region in between, this is going up. This is going down, they cancel out, the magnetic field here is zero. So in between, the magnetic field magnitude is going to be approximately zero for this, due to this cancellation. So therefore, I can see that the segments along the z-axis have no magnetic field to a good approximation because the contribution to the magnetic field from two consecutive current carrying conductors will cancel out in pairs. Okay, so that's the conclusion. So in this problem, we talked about an infinite current sheet that lies on the xy plane. The conductors lie parallel to the y axis. There's current coming out from each conductor uh, in plus y direction. And uh, I can see that uh, for this infinite sheet of current, I can talk about the magnitude and direction of the magnetic field at distance A above and below, but due to the symmetry, they're going to be the same magnitude. So if I form this Amperian loop, a distance A above, distance A below, I'm neglecting the uh, width of this conductor, but that doesn't make any uh, difference here as you can see because the magnetic field contribution on these two sides are zero anyway so uh, if i look at the magnetic field magnitude here and here they should be the same the direction is found using the right hand rule the thumb points out of the page the fingers curl four fingers curl in the clock uh, counterclockwise sense Okay, so magnetic field above is in minus i hat direction, below is in plus i hat direction. And because of this cancelling out in pairs of consecutive con magnetic field to, to two consecutive conductors carrying the current in the same direction, the magnetic field at these two sides is zero. The closed path integral b dot dl will be b2a plus b2a, b4ba. Uh, it's b times 2a plus b times 2a, which is 4ba. This is equal to mu zero times current enclosed. What's the current enclosed? The length of this section, 2a, times number of conductors per unit length, each carrying current i. So that's the current enclosed. So 4ba is 2 mu zero and a i, and that gives me the magnitude and the direction I have already talked about. And also, once again, this was basically the trick here. We have to see this clearly that the magnetic field in between these two conductors, consecutive conductors, is approximately zero due to cancellation in pairs.